Hi Pen fans, this is Brian at the Edison Pen Company. Uh, things might look a little different here at the Edison Pen Company. We had a pretty bad storm come through last night and we, our power has been out for the last uh, 20 hours, I think maybe coming up on 22. So obviously there's no pen making going on today. We need a little, a little electricity for that. But I think I have just enough juice on my laptop and my camera that I can still announce this new production pen. I, I really wanted to get this pen announced today. So we're out here uh, still trying to get this announced and I think this will work just fine. I opened up all the doors and all the windows and I think I've got enough light in here just to get this film. So here we go. Um, the new pen coming to the production line will be the Pearl Et. Um, essentially what that is is our smaller version of the Pearl. Um, now, for those that are not aware, uh, I'll give a quick refresher on what our signature line is versus what our production line is. The signature line, those pens are all made one at a time, completely custom. You come to us direct to get those pens. You can customize everything, whatever material you want, whatever color you want. Pretty much anything head to toe can be customized on those pens. But then we also offer what's called the production line. Now, the production line is uh, rather than making pens one at a time, and allowing customizations, we uh, instead do them assembly line style, and we all we only offer typically three colors with each material or with each pen. So what that means is rather, I mean, when we're doing a custom pen, there's a lot of time that goes into tool setup, material changes. Um, when you're making it one at a time, it's a lot slower. So the custom side takes a lot more labor. Production side, you know, we make 30 finials, 30 caps, 30 barrels, 30 sections. And then what we do is we sell these direct through retailers. So what that means is that uh, volume goes up and price can come down as well. So the, the Perlet used to be signature line, is now going to production line. It'll be at a lower cost um, with only three material choices. Now, a question will arise, can I still get a custom Perlet? Of course, any pen that we offer, no matter what, whether it's production line, signature line, we can always make custom for you. So uh, that's it. The Perlet is going to the production line. Um, I, I am going to go ahead and show you what colors we are offering. Now I realize my lighting is not perfect in here, so I'm going to also have uh, some photos that I took you know, uh, yesterday when we had power of these pens. We have three gorgeous materials, and again, this, this camera is not going to do this justice, and even and especially this lighting. Uh, violet flake. Um, Aztec gold flake and then what we're calling deep indigo flake so what I'll do is I'll get into a little bit of a discussion of these and then I'll put up a photo of this first violet flake this is a material that we've used uh, quite a lot within the signature line if you search for violet flake in our smug mug galleries you'll see a lot of pens that we've made from it it's a great material it's one of our personal favorites and it's one that I thought would make a great production pen so let me put a better photo of this pen up now okay next up is deep indigo flake now this of course this camera will never catch this uh, this is a material that we have not used in the past. We've used plenty of blue flakes, cobalt flakes, you know, deeper blue flakes, but nothing that really has this depth and this nice, uh, what do I want to say, like, like a royal dark color to it. Um, again, we haven't used it before. I'm really happy with it. It's really dark. It's got a lot of depth to it. It's a great material. So again, I'll put up some photos of this right now. And then the last material in this is what we're calling Aztec Gold. Now some of you might look at this and think, hey, this looks suspiciously like uh, Flex Tortoise. And it is awfully similar. Allow me to explain. We did a limited edition Encore earlier this year with a great material called Flex Tortoise. It's one of my absolute favorites. Now the downside to that is, it, it, uh, as far as custom pens go, we can always do those no matter what because we can get plenty, we can get enough material to do our custom pens. 
But with the production pens, the volume being higher, that flex tortoise was never something that we could really get in the quantities that we needed to. Our distributor just couldn't get enough of it for us. So I went to another manufacturer and I sent this manufacturer a sample of that flex tortoise. And I said, hey, do your best to copy this. Um, it is an awfully close facsimile of that flex tortoise. And the beauty is we can get this in the quantities that we need. Um, I might have a flex tortoise pen around here that I can show um, in comparison. Okay, I found it, but of course I'm out of focus because I want to show these closer if I can. Um, on the, uh, this pen here, the Perlet, is the new Aztec Flake, and then this pen over here is the, the, the Encore that we did from that really cool material. There's not a tremendous difference, and I think that this is focused well enough that you can see that. Uh, when I get a chance, when we don't have power problems, then I will probably do my best to show some photos of these two materials, but this Flex Tortoise has always been a big favorite of us in the custom line, and we were able to do a limited edition with it, and this manufacturer was able to get awfully close to it, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, the next topic worth covering is the size of this pen. This pen is um, smaller than most of the rest of the production line, I would say. Uh, it does take number five nibs, uh, these uh, smaller nibs in comparison. And what I would like to do right now is, a lot of you might be thinking, well, smaller pen, I don't know if it'll fit in my hand. Let me show you a, a closer uh, look at how this works in my hand, okay? Okay, here's the pen in my hand. I'm 5'11", uh, you know, normal sized hands for a guy my size, and I don't find this pen, albeit to be a smaller model, to be uh, too short to, to, to hold in my hand unposted, but if that's not an issue for you, then this Perlet was designed to be posted. So in this configuration, again, you know what, everybody, i got to apologize for the lighting. If anybody has any problems, any questions, you know, please, as soon as we get power back, I'll be happy to snap some photos, show everybody whatever, whatever you need to see to make sure that you get all the details of this pen. But I promised my retailers and a lot of customers that I'd launch this pen today, so we're going forth anyways. So that's how the pen fits, you know, in my hand with a decent little size comparison there. Okay, I think that that covers everything. Pricing on this pen will be identical to all of the other production line pens with a steel nib 149 and with an 18 karat nib 274. Remember that Edison does not sell these pens direct. Uh, you will buy these pens from the retailers that carry, our, that carry our, our line. If you're wondering which ones those are, you just go to edisonpen.com, take a look at the production line and all of the retailers that carry our production line is listed right there, okay? I hope everybody's uh, having a great one. I'm excited about launching this new Perlet. Uh, I will say, remember, in about two or three weeks, we've got a new pen coming, a uh, brand new filling system. I'm real excited about this one. Uh, it's a filling system that is not used by any modern pen company today. So stay tuned, and uh, when that one's ready, it'll probably be the last week of July is when we launch that, and then we'll be featuring it, especially at the DC Pen Show. Okay? Everybody have a good one. Take care. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right?